Hello, America. I'm Leo Ash, and I get it. In 2016, you were young, drunk, and overconfident after eight pretty good years. So you went with a wild card. You used to call me on the cell phone. Call me on the cell phone. But the next day, you woke up full of regret. And now, four years later, let's take a walk down Nightmare Lane. This is a carefully curated list of Trump's best gaffes of all time, and I figure where better to begin than with the unsurprising fact that Donald Trump knows even less about the Bible than his children who aren't named Ivanka. I'm a great Christian. Sure. I don't bring God into that picture. I don't. Why, why do I have to, you know, repent? Why do I have to ask for forgiveness if you're not making mistakes. Watch as he can't name even one verse and he mispronounces a book of the Bible. I'm wondering what one or two of your most favored Bible uh, verses are well, and why. I, I wouldn't want to get into it because to me that's very personal. You know, when I talk about the Bible, it's very personal. So I don't want to get into there's verses. No, there's I don't no want to get into... A, there's no, no I, verse I, that means I a just, lot to you that you think about or cite? The, the Bible means a lot to me, but I don't want to get into specifics. Even to cite a verse that no, you like. No, I don't want to do that. You're I mean, an Old okay. Testament guy or a New Testament guy? Uh, probably equal. As I hear this is a major theme right here, but 2 Corinthians, right? 2 Corinthians 317. That's the whole ball game. You can actually hear people laughing at him in the crowd because anyone who ever goes to church would know it's pronounced 2nd Corinthians, not 2 Corinthians. But what do I know? I'm just a guy who used to major in biblical studies and whose parents both graduated from Dallas Theological Seminary. Regardless, pretending to be a Christian is just one of Trump's many flaws. Probably more important is the fact that he's an ignorant dumbass. So if you're ready to tell Trump, you're fired, please subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends to really piss off Trump. And for the rest of you, let's get to the shit show. I understand things. I comprehend very well, okay? Better than, I think, almost anybody. And then they say, there's Donald Trump, an intellectual. Trust me, I'm like a smart person. I don't have to be told, you know, I'm like a smart person. I know more about courts than any human being on earth. I think nobody knows more about campaign finance than I do. Construction is what I know. I say, nobody knows it better. And I think nobody knows much more about technology, this type of technology, certainly, than I do. There's nobody bigger or better at the military than I am. I know more about ISIS than th the generals do, believe me. Are you familiar with General Soleimani? Yes. I, I, go ahead, give me a little, go ahead, tell me. It, well, he runs the Quds forces. Yes, okay, right. Do, do you expect and his I think behavior... the Kurds, by the way, have been horribly mistreated by us. No, no, not the Kurds, the, the, the Quds forces, the Iranian Revolutionary Guards Quds yeah. forces. No. If Putin likes me and if he thinks I'm a good, smart person, which I mean, I hope he believes it, I am. I actually, actually, he's right, I am brilliant. You know that, right? He's not going into Ukraine, okay? Just so you understand. He's not going to go into Ukraine. All right, you can mark it down, you can put it down, you can take it anywhere well, you want. he's already there, isn't he? Okay, well, he I know nothing about Russia. Who are you consulting with consistently so that you're ready on day one? I'm speaking with myself, number one, because I have a very good brain and I've said a lot of things. We've just launched 59 missiles heading to Iraq. Well, you so, headed to Syria. Yes, heading toward Syria. You know what uranium is, right? It's a thing called nuclear weapons and other things, like lots of things are done with uranium, including some bad things. I hope they now go and take a look at the oranges, the oranges of the... Uh, uh, investigation, the beginnings of that investigation. Because I was down there and I watched our police and our firemen down on 7-Eleven, down the World Trade Center. We won with poorly educated. I love the poorly educated. I'm very highly educated. I know words. I have the best words. Believe it or not, I watch my words very carefully. There are those that think I'm a very stable genius. I'm a very stable genius. I'm an extremely stable genius. It was widely known that if you wanted the president's attention, you had to bring a video with you to the brief, something animated, something with pictures. That China has total respect for Donald Trump and for Donald Trump's very, very large brain. So Belgium 
is a beautiful city. When they gaze upon Yosemites, Yosemites, everybody is envious. We have the hydrosonic missiles that you used to hear about. We didn't have them, but we now have hydrosonic missiles. They say a wall is medieval. Well, so is a wheel. A wheel is older than a wall. <laughs> and I looked, and every single car out there, even the really expensive ones that the Secret Service uses, and believe me, they are expensive. I said, do they all have wheels? Yes. Oh, I thought it was medieval. Do I hit the ball good? Do I hit it long? Is Trump strong? Huh? Do you no, plan I... to visit with the Pope when he comes into Philadelphia? Well, the Pope believes in global warming. You do know that, right? We're going to win so much, you're going to get so tired of winning. We don't win anymore. We don't win anymore in our country, Sean. We don't win anymore. We used to win. We don't win anymore. We don't win with trade. We don't win with war. We, don't, we can't even beat ISIS. And we're going to win. If I win, I will tell you, if I win, we all win because we are going to win. Nobody knew that health care could be so complicated. Nobody ever heard of Osama bin Laden until really the World Trade Center. Nobody ever heard of the word trillion until 10 years ago. You know, executive orders sort of came about more recently. Nobody ever heard of an executive order. This has been a Category 5, which few people have ever even heard of. Think of it, 151 countries. Somebody said to me today that wasn't in this particular world, they didn't know that we had that many countries. A friend of mine said, very sophisticated friend said, I never knew you had 184 countries. We actually have more than that. You think this is fun? Think this, this is a lot of work. A lot more work than anybody knew. But it's not just that Trump's an ignorant dumbass. He's also a lying piece of shit. You've been promising a new health care plan. We interviewed, I interviewed you in June of last year. You said the health care plan would come in two weeks. You told Chris Wallace that this summer it would come in three weeks. You promised an executive I order on pre-existing. I have it already. But it's, you've been trying to strike down pre-existing conditions. I have it already, and it's a much better plan for you, and it's a much better plan. Okay, you got to see this guy. Oh, I don't know what I said. Oh, I don't remember. He's going like, I don't remember. I oh, maybe that's what I said. Tell well, I'll tell you the funniest is that I'll go backstage before a show. Yes. And everyone's getting dressed and ready and everything else. And, you know, no men are anywhere. And I'm allowed to go in because I'm the owner of the pageant and therefore I'm inspecting it. Dress is everyone okay? You know, they're <laughs> yeah. standing there with no clothes. Is everybody okay? And you see these incredible looking women. And so I sort of get away with things like that. He's he hit me. Hero. He's not a war hero. He's a war hero. He's a war Five hero. Five and a half years. He's a war Peter hero because he was captured. I like people that weren't captured, okay? I hate to tell you. I always wanted to get the Purple Heart. This was much easier. Why would you downplay a pandemic that is known to disproportionately harm low-income families and minority communities? Yeah. Well, I didn't downplay it. I actually, in many ways, I upplayed it in terms of action. So that was called action, not with the mouth, but in actual fact. I wanted to always play it down. I still like playing it down. Every death is a horror. But if you look at a real catastrophe like Katrina, and you look at the tremendous hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people that died. That's a famous Mussolini quote. You retweeted it. You like the quote? Did you know it was sure. Mussolini? It's okay to know it's Mussolini. I look, Mussolini was Mussolini. It's okay to know. It's a very good quote. They say, I have the most loyal people. Did you ever see that? Where I could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody and I wouldn't lose any voters, okay? It's like incredible. I would say Mexico's going to pay for it. This is like the wall. Believe me, we're going to build a wall. Mexico's going to pay for it. It's going to be built. It's going to be paid for by Canada, by the way. It's going to be paid for. Maybe I'll get Canada paid. It's going to be paid for by Mexico. But you would not ban it. No. Or ban partial birth abortion. No, I would, I would, I am, I am pro-choice in every respect and as far as it goes, but... I am pro-life, yes. What is ban, how do you ban abortion? How do you actually do it? Well, you know, you'll go back to a, a position like they had where people will perhaps go to illegal places. Yeah. But you have to ban it. Here's, do you believe in punishment for abortion? Yes or no, as a principle? Uh, the answer is that there has to be some form of punishment. For the woman? Yeah, there has to be some form. If you answer these questions to me now, why not answer them to Robert Mueller under oath? Because they're after my financial statement. The Senate, they'd like to get my financial statement. At some point, I hope they get it. You're gonna turn it over? No, at some point, I might. But at some point, I hope they get it because it's, <laughs> it's a fantastic financial statement. It's a fantastic financial statement. 
And uh, let's do that over. He's coughing in the middle of my answer. Yeah, okay. I don't like that, you know? When like you're that. chief of staff. If you're going to cough, please yeah, leave the room. Just get a shot of, and I'll, yeah. I'll come over here. Just, yeah. just yeah. can't. You just can't. Just to change the shot. Okay. Sorry. Nobody knows the system better than me. Which is why I alone can fix it. This system is rigged. We're competing in a rigged election. This is a rigged election. But you will absolutely accept the result of this election. I will look at it at the time. I'll keep you in suspense. I will totally accept the results if I win. But in addition to being an ignorant dumbass and lying piece of shit, Trump's also a chauvinist and a racist. You've called women you don't like fat pigs, dogs, slobs, and disgusting animals. Women, he once said to New York Magazine, you have to treat them like shit. I don't even wait. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab them by the pussy. <laughs> you brag that you have sexually assaulted women. Do you understand that? No, I didn't say that at all. I don't think you understood what was said. This was locker room talk. I'm not doing as well with women. Will you help me? What's going on? I saved your suburbs women. Suburban women. You're supposed to love Trump. So can I ask you to do me a favor? Suburban women, will you please like me? And then in 2011, Trump started the birther conspiracy. He doesn't have a birth certificate. Now, he may have one, but there's something on that birth, maybe religion, Maybe it says he's a Muslim. I don't think like you two believe weeks that ago, either. I, I think it's two provocative. Weeks ago, you get a lot of attention raising the question, but I don't think you believe Two either. weeks ago, yeah. I felt like probably he was born in the country. Today, it's possibly. The state of Hawaii says this is official. He was born in Hawaii on this date. Here it is. Why do you deny that? A lot of people do not think it was an authentic certificate. Donald, you're, you're beginning to sound a little ridiculous. I have to no, tell I you. you are, Wolf. Why do we want these people from, quote, all these shithole countries here? Before suggesting the U.S. should have more people from places like Norway. A White House spokesman tonight not denying the president's words. You also had people that were very fine people on both sides. I think there's blame on both sides, and I have no doubt about it, and you don't have any doubt about it either. Quote, I've got black accountants at Trump Castle and at Trump Plaza, black guys counting my money, I hate it. The only kind of people I want counting my money are short guys that wear yarmulkes every day. I think the guy is lazy. And it's probably not his fault because laziness is a trade in blacks. It really is, I believe that. It's not anything they can control. We had an African-American guy who was a fan of mine. Great fan, great guy. In fact, I want to find out what's going on with him. You know what I'm, oh, look at my African-American over here. Look at him. Are you the greatest? Do you know what I'm talking about? Okay. In front of the church, the president held up a Bible. Is that your Bible? It's a Bible. He summoned his advisors to pose for a photo before heading back to the White House. At the end of four years, I guarantee you, that I will get over 95% of the African-American vote, I promise you. And he says by 2020, he's gonna have 95% of the African-American support. Why are you laughing? Now, to be clear, these are just a few examples. There are so many more. Because if I don't get Iowa, I won't believe that one. I may never have to come back here again if I don't get Iowa. I'll never be back. If I lose to him, I don't know what I'm going to do. I will never speak to you again. Could you imagine if I lose my whole life? What am I going to do? I'm going to say, I lost to the worst candidate in the history of politics. I'm not going to feel so good. Maybe I'll have to leave the country. I don't know. Regardless, thanks for watching and remember to hit that subscribe button and share this video with your friends to really piss off Trump. The years they've been trying, you couldn't fire somebody if they were horrible, robbing, stealing, hurting people, you couldn't do anything. And now you can say you're fired. And until next time, I'm Leo Ash. Stay angry.